what's up guys? I'm gonna episode of Pat Taste Performance. In the back of the Honda is our free lawnmower. So I maybe I, I understand why you guys might potentially be upset that I didn't finish that lawn boy. But I sold that for 150 bucks. Without spending 60 to 90 for a week for a ignition coil. Without spending, I guess, anywhere from, I've seen prices anywhere from like 30 to 150 for handlebars. Um, and I had to get the bag. Well, guess what? It doesn't stop here. Okay, so the air filter cover was broke. And after I sold it to the guy, the guy's like, dude, where's the air filter cover? I'm like, oh, shh. Stay right there, I'll be right back. Ran home, and on the way home, look at this. I love this saying, karma received is karma earned. God has blessed us. Now this is wild. As you know, people listen when you talk. Now while we're at a adjacent friendly height, It's gonna look better already. Looks good. Now, why would I take a garden hose? That's a really good question. One was left on top, number two, our abravites, our green emeralds that we have. I forgot to uh, shake the snow off of them in the middle of our storm because you're busy doing snow removal. So a lot of them, they got some snow damage where they spread out. So what I needed is I was looking for a junk garden hose that you wrap around your tree with rope. Well, you wrap the garden hose around the tree branches, then put rope through the garden hose and tie it down. So, this is freaking winter, winter chicken dinner. Oh look, and it still has water in it. <laughs> yeah. Water's coming out. So this literally must have just popped. And the guy's like, I'm out of here. And I don't know why he took the lawnmower with him too. You literally cannot make this stuff up. This, essentially, is the best find that I have. Alright. Doesn't hurt to try. Come on. Well, it was good. And on par. Air filter looks pretty good too. <clears throat> Blade? Yep. Yep. Oh. Has a little bit of gas in there. Smells rank. But let's see what we got. Now let's put some gas in here. Get some sea foam. Now I'm gonna wait on giving it a huff of go-go juice because the fuel is in 
the fuel isn't facing the front part of the tank and it's not getting towards the back so we'll see now that we got enough fuel in there oh wait a minute look and it has a repair tag the evidence of one this is the evidence of a repair tag so there is some hope for this i have some high hopes for this this is gonna be easy money oh yeah Come on. Wait, 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 did you hear that? Alright, 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 green it. I don't know why I do that. Get out of my way. All right, for demonstration purposes only, I have it on a jack stand, but you don't need to do that. I'm gonna take our pliers, my favorites, slap them puppies right here. There you go. Love those vice grips. Use them for so many other things, bigger and small, and they're non mare If you guys really like those, those will be in the uh, description of the video where I got them too. So, 13 millimeter or half inch. We're gonna go the Bruce Pender way. Bruce Pender showed me this. Ooh, this is loose. I have a feeling this carburetor looks aftermarket. It's pretty clean inside. Outside, outside, dummy. I just. You guys could see a little bit. Just a little bit of schmuggies. I'm not even going to use brake clean. Pretty confident about this one. My extra long tip cleaners. Right through the side, right? See that? And then right down the keister. Now the same thing here right up the keister as well if you're paranoid to make sure you, if you didn't get it right you pull the air filter cover off here and I'll, I'll show you pull the air filter cover off and then you could actually see you could actually see oh you can't because the throat but you get the point you could look down the keister and see if your thing goes all the way but trust me You know when you got guys good deep penetration. That's what she said. 
So stick it right in there. And you will tell when you get in that hole. Believe me. All right, let's stick this back in here. Come on. No. Now, here's the crazy part. If I didn't go to sell that one boy, I would have missed out on this. Oh, and I forgot to mention it before, in case this is your first time watching the channel, okay? This machine running and dying after we injected go-go juice means that there's a fuel related issue. Once the go-go juice gets inside the cylinder, it burns and fires. Once it runs out, there's nothing to replace it, so it shuts down. So, fairly simple. What do you guys think? I mean, this is our throttle. This is the automatic choke right here. That moves. The next is the throttle plate in the back. And it's hooked up here. Hmm, this looks bent a little bit, but it's like it's frozen. All right, let's give this one more rip. Oh, dummy. Disconnected the spark plug. Idiot.
put this thing up for sale. 150 bucks. All right, guys, you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, good, bad, ugly, or none of the above? <laughs> smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Takes Performance. All right, guys. Later. And absolutely, don't you just love when things fall and come into place. Remember, karma received is karma earned. Love that saying.